Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting collab with my dear friend here on YouTube. Amy loves makeup. She is no stranger here on my channel. I have collabed with her a few times before and in the month of April, Amy is doing Amy All April. I think that's the name of her little series or whatever you want to call it, but she's uploading every day in April and she asked me to collab with her and I was like, of course, and then we were like, what should we do? And I had told her about this video idea that I did with a different YouTuber in December when I was doing Vlogmas and basically it's where we decide on some brands and both of us need to have palettes from that brand and then we talk about our favorite palette and least favorite palette from each of those brands. So we've got quite a long list so this video may be a little long. I hope you guys enjoy it and thank you Amy for collabing. Don't forget to check out her video. I will go ahead and link that in my description box and without further blabbering, Let's get into it. So the first brand I want to talk about is one that I love, Juvia's Place. I haven't bought anything from them in a while. I feel like they've kind of slowed things down, which is great. And my favorite palette from Juvia's Place, I don't think it's a surprise to any of you if you have been on my channel for quite some time, but it is the Tribe palette. I love this palette so so much because I love greens. I love that it's a nine pan palette. These pans are huge. I'm never gonna run out of any of these shades but this is my favorite Juvia's Place palette and let me tell you the competition is stiff because I've loved Juvia's Place for a long long time. I used to love my Masquerade palette and I used to love the Nubian 2 palette. That was the first ever palette I tried from Juvia's Place and they've just continued to bless me with beautiful palettes, the Nomad palette. So pretty, but this one has been the top contender for some time. You guys know I love green shadows. This shade called Coro is like the most beautiful golden green shadow you'll ever find. And these palettes are so affordable. So I really, really enjoy them. And I had to give first place to the Tribe palette. Now for my least favorite palette from Juvia's, I decided to pick one that I don't actually own, but I just felt like this one didn't really belong in the Juvia's Place lineup. Now there's definitely varying opinions on this particular palette because some people I think love it because it's a neutral all matte palette. For me, I love Juvia's for their colorful shimmer eyeshadows. So it really felt like a dud for me when I saw this. This is the Warrior 2 eyeshadow palette. I'll go ahead and pop a picture of it right here for you guys to see. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it is all matte, which is shocking. I think it's the only all matte palette Juvia's Place has come out with and it was just very meh for me. I was really hoping to see more with the Warrior palette. So their first one was like a neutral golden shimmery palette. Then they did this one and then they did like a super colorful one. So that whole collection was a little bit confusing to me, but I know a lot of people really love this because hey, it's a great all matte palette from a really great indie brand. But for me, it was definitely kind of a dud. Okay guys, so the next brand we want to talk about is Natasha Denona. Now, I love me some Natasha Denona. I don't have a ton of her stuff, but I feel like everything I have, I am so happy with. So for this brand, let's go with the one I don't like first. So this was a Sephora VIB sale purchase and I picked this palette up rather late in the game. It had been out for a while and the completionist in me was like, oh my gosh, you might as well get it. It's gonna be on sale. And so I picked it up and it's actually in a video series I'm supposed to be filming called Try and Buy. I did do a look with this palette and you guys liked it and it's, it's nice. It's just, it's not really me. I feel like I definitely like this side a lot better than this side. And I just feel like it's like, a lot of like the same like tones like I mean how many neutral shades can you have so I don't know I feel like this one was such a bad buy on my part it's like $160 and I really wish 
I could get $160 back. So I would say definitely a pass. If I had to go back in time, I would not buy that palette. Now my favorite Natasha Denona palette, there's always competition here because I was obsessed with the gold palette. If I had to guess, Amy's gonna pick the gold palette as her favorite Natasha Denona palette because I know that girl loves that palette. But this palette dethroned it last year. This is the Metropolis palette and honestly, if you guys have spare cash, Trust me, this palette is the only palette you're gonna need. It's so gorgeous. Like, I can't handle it. These two mattes, these two green shades, like, I can't handle. They just, like, blend themselves. If you watch Angie's video recently, she did a eyeshadow look with her bougiest makeup, her bougiest palettes and stuff like that, and she did a green eyeshadow look with this palette and it was stunning. These shimmers are like out of this world. I can't even, like, you don't understand. Like, <laughs> they're so pretty. Like, I love this palette so, so much. I love that there's some color. I love that there's some neutrals. I really want her $240 palettes, but I can't afford them. So I think this is like a great compromise because it has a little bit of everything. And I'm just so happy with this. I love it so much. If my house was on fire and I could only save one palette, this is this is my palette that I'm saving because it's gorgeous. I love it so, so much. Okay, so the next brand is Morphe. Now, my least favorite, because I want to build up the anticipation, my least favorite Morphe palette is this guy. Now, this is the 39... What is this even called? The 39A palette, and honestly, I've never used it. It just kind of sits there. Okay, I've, I've used it. I've used it like once or twice. Um, Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips, she's the one that made me buy this palette. And I keep holding on to it thinking, hey, maybe someday I'll whip it out and I'll do some beautiful eyeshadow looks with it. And I mean, like, the swatches are beautiful. It's a beautiful palette. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just so huge and it just sits there and I never reach for it. Plus, I feel like eyeshadow palettes are definitely, like, trendy things. They kind of come in style and then they leave and then we all forget about them. So this is just kind of one of those palettes that... I kind of could have passed on, but the FOMO got to me because they marketed it as a limited edition palette. And of course it came back. And of course, at that point I was like, oh my God, I need it. I need it. And I bought it and now I never use it. So my favorite palette from Morphe, I feel like I'm definitely cheating here because I haven't actually used this on my eyeballs, but it's a new palette and so many people have been raving about it. I just need to find the time to use it. I'm hoping I get some use out of it this month, but I decided to pick the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is round two. I do have her first one and I would pick that as my favorite Morphe palette, but realistically I haven't used that palette in probably a year now and I just thought these shades are so fun and updated and so hip and cool and current right now that I just really felt like I needed to give this palette a shout out. I haven't even swatched this. Should I swatch it? I heard the shimmers in this palette are like out of this world. Oh my god. Okay, I need to use this palette. Are you seriously kidding me right now, Jaclyn Hill? Like, girl. Girl. Oh my god. Look at those swatches. I'm shook, guys. So yeah, that's my favorite palette from Morphe. I don't think it has to be that serious. I haven't used it yet, but color story-wise, it is singing to me. It's like, come over here to the dark side and play with me. That was my princess sing voice. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Okay, so the next brand I wanna talk about is Menagerie Cosmetics. So Menagerie and I, we are in a pretty committed relationship. We've had some ups and downs, and I don't own my least favorite palette from them anymore, but I would say it was the, what is that palette called? The Dragon Child palette? I think it was one of their like older palettes, and I didn't really like the color story. I didn't love the formula. Mostly I just 
it wasn't really my vibe like when it comes to colorful eyeshadows i really like like happy color stories not really into like the grungy color stories i ended up selling that one on poshmark one of my favorite color stories from them and probably my favorite palette from menagerie even though the pastel pup is really nice too and the violet ink and the killer purr they've got a lot of really cute palettes so anyway the one i have the one i want to show you is this guy this is the whale song palette by Menagerie Cosmetics. If I had to guess, I have a feeling Amy's gonna pick this one too. And, uh, you know, for good reason. We both love green eyeshadow palettes, and let me tell you, these greens and blues are so pigmented, they will make you just want to scream. <laughs> <laughs> so there are some swatches of some beautiful blues and greens in this palette. The only thing with these palettes is I do believe they do stay in most people's eyes. Doesn't really bother me because like I wear makeup every day so it doesn't, you know, it just washes off on me and then I put more makeup on and go about my day. <sighs> I mean like eyeshadow palette heaven right now. Okay, next brand is Alter Ego. Now, I own most of the palettes from Alter Ego. They were kind enough to send them to me, which is excellent. I don't really have a palette I, like, hate from them because I think they're all genuinely pretty decent. I guess the one I would say that I like the least is this guy. This is their Dupe to the Sunrise palette from Natasha Denona. They call this the Aurora palette. And these palettes are like under $20. I think they're like 15 bucks. And I just thought the original was really good. I don't think this is a good enough substitute to the Sunrise palette. But my favorite palette from them, which is their Goddess palette, which is a dupe to the Gold palette from Natasha Denona, this one. I wouldn't say it beats the Gold palette, but if you're balling on a budget, which... That can happen sometimes. This one is a really good dupe. Like, really good, really pigmented. Let me swatch some of these for you guys. I've done an eye look with this palette. You guys can check out if you're interested. Here are the swatches on my fingers. So pretty. These look a little dusty right now, but you can definitely wet these and build them up on your eyes. And they're stunning. So next I want to talk about Blush Tribe and Blush Tribe is a UK based indie brand. They're actually closing down. I'm not sure if they're completely done yet but I know I saw announcements that they are closing down so if you do have the chance if they're still doing any kind of sale or anything I would 100% recommend you grab the Hasina palette. I recently did a look with this. It was a collab for Valentine's Day with Amy and Angelica and like the hype is real with this palette it's so creamy and beautiful the greens the blues like this is such a fun palette if you love those colors which you guys know we do oh god this is not swatching well they build up really nicely though i don't know why it's not swatching well but on my eyes i haven't had any issues with this blush dry palette so i would definitely pick this one as my favorite. The one I like the least, I've owned quite a few. I didn't really like the Malika palette. I, I've i decluttered a lot of Blush Tribe brand new because things were coming out so fast from them. I couldn't even keep up and then I do like giveaways and stuff with them. But the one I tried and didn't enjoy was the Fall Fusion palette. Just not my favorite. It was okay, but their quality is very... Morphe-esque. I hope I'm not offending anyone by saying that, but it's true. And these are made, I believe, in PRC, which is fine. Um, that's not an issue if something's made in China, but I definitely felt like the formula was very similar to Morphe. This one, though, I really like. I like the color story of this, so it definitely is something I'm planning on keeping, but I did get rid of the Fall Fusion palette, so I will post a picture of it right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So the next brand I wanna talk about is ColourPop, and my least favorite is this guy. Of course, there's a lot of palettes from ColourPop that over the years I've purchased, tried, and decluttered. This is just a recent unfavorite from them. This is the Flutter by palette. Now, some people love this palette. I personally just found the shades to be kind of meh for me so that is why it is my least favorite and then for my favorite I decided to switch it up I do have three main favorite ColourPop palettes I featured a different one in 
the same video when I did it in December. So I thought it would be fun to feature a different palette as a favorite this year. This is the Whatever palette from ColourPop and this was their fall launch from 2019. I feel like they had so many eyeshadow palettes come out at the end. This one was outshined by some other palettes, but I think it's honestly a great neutral palette for tan skin. I don't know how pigmented it would be on deeper skin tones, but I just love this palette as like an everyday go-to palette. I know a lot of people go to ColourPop for every day because it's so affordable and this palette is just so good. I love the mattes in here. I just think they're so beautiful and you can just use like a quick three shades and do a very stunning look with this palette. So there are some swatches of the mattes in that palette. Next brand I want to talk about is Kaleidos. Now, I feel like I can't really pick one I don't like from Kaleidos because I love all of their palettes. I have the five mini palettes and then the, what is that one called? I don't know, it's their like first, Deep Sea Luster. I love the Deep Sea Luster palette, but I would say if I had to pick a favorite, like my most favorite, I would pick this one. This is Astro Pink from their original three mini palettes. It's gorgeous. This purple shade though, like, come on. Like, are you kidding me? Like that's stunning. So I love that palette from them. There's a swatch. And then I just picked this one as like my fifth favorite. It's not really a least favorite. It's just that I really like all the other four much better. But this one is gorgeous too. It has this beautiful red. Oh my God. And this silver shade. Look at that silver. Let me swatch. Do you guys see that? Holy guacamole. So I really love all of my Kaleidos palettes. I really can't pick a favorite and I really can't pick a least favorite because I love all of them. And you would have to pry these out of my cold dead hands before I get rid of any of them. Okay guys, now we're on to Dominique Cosmetics. And for my least favorite Dominique Cosmetics palette, I definitely have to give it to the Paris and Cream palette. I don't know what it is about this palette, but I just don't love it. I think this palette has been on the chopping block in my makeup collection for quite some time. I just need to like pull the mandate and get rid of it because I really don't like it. I feel like these shades are very, like they're like almost there. Like You know how when you look at an eyeshadow palette and you're like, <gasps> takes my breath away and then you see this and it's like ah it's almost there but everything just looks so cool tone and it just looks so dull like it's just so dull looking I don't know I really need to test this out a little more in my personal time and figure it out I keep holding on to it because I'm like oh I, I spent my money on it like I don't really want to get rid of it but I never think like in my head like oh I really need to use that berries and cream palette from Dominique Cosmetics. That never happens. And then my favorite, this again, I haven't really used a ton, but ugh, I could not stop thinking about this palette when I saw it launching and I was trying so hard not to buy it. And then a beautiful, wonderful subscriber of mine saw me like lusting over this palette and I don't remember if she just didn't like it, but she offered to send it to me because she's a sweet baby angel. And I was like, I mean, I'll take it. And these shimmers, like, let me tell you, they are so pretty and neutral. I haven't used the colorful shades yet, um, but I really liked how the shimmers worked. And I just love the color story. I like the packaging. I love the whole coffee vibe with Kristen Dominique and yeah, these colors are so fun. I haven't used them yet, so I have no idea how they perform. Um, but as far as just like, do I love? Yes, I think so. I think I do. So there are some swatches of that palette. If you have any guesses on my least favorite and most favorite palette from this last brand I'm gonna talk about, which is Glam Light. Go ahead and leave that down in the comments. And here we go. So my least favorite is this guy from Glam Light. And it's only cause again, like Kaleidos, I have so many palettes that I love from them. This is just like my least favorite. Not that I hate this palette. This is the Miracle palette from Glam Light. I got it in a Tribe Beauty box when Angie collabed with them and it's a nice palette. It's a lot of pinks. I think like two years ago Karen would have been really nuts about this 
but uh, I've graduated and now I'm obsessed with green eyeshadow so I had to pick the good old burger palette as my favorite palette from Glamlight. I really love my cake palette that I recently got. I love my taco palette, but this palette has some of the prettiest green mattes and green shimmers and just shimmers in general. Like, look at that, you guys, like, come on. This is the way to my soul, is to give me a green eyeshadow palette and I'm just like the happiest camper in all the land so there so there are some swatches of the burger palette right there i love these shades they're so easy to work with and i mean look at this guy doesn't it just make you hungry looking at it i mean that's my opinion and i am gonna stick to it that so. is it guys thank you for watching don't forget to check out amy's video thank you amy for collabing with me and i will see you guys in my sephora wishlist video on thursday thanks for watching Bye!